Thanks for the ride. Appreciate it. Me too. Got it in here somewhere. So, where are you going? 585 Rosemont. It's supposed to be somewhere up here near the hospital. Oh, good. That's where I'm going. The hospital? Mm-hmm. Patient? Yeah. Hope it's nothing serious. Well, it's nothing to get worked up about. Hey, look, I'm sorry about the way I acted back there. Oh, come on. No, I, I've been kind of grumpy lately. Truce. Truce. Um, I'd give you the big one, but I'm eating for two. I understand. How does it feel? Believe me, it's no fun. Well, look at it this way. Look at all the things you have to look forward to. Sleepless nights, a lot of moist diapers. Mm -hmm. Or worse. You know, when I was a little boy, I had a baby, a sister. And even with all the problems, there were some moments that were so special. I'll never forget them. I guess that's why I sort of envy you. Well, that sounds nice. I don't know. But to bring up a kid alone. You have any kids? No. You ever been married? Yes. Used to be. Divorced? No. Then you're alone too. Sort of. You miss her? Your wife? Yes, I do. Very much. I guess there's only one thing as bad as losing a wife. That's losing a child. Hey. Come on. Five eighty-five. This is it. Matrix. This is where your friends live? Yeah. Yes? Who is it? Carrie Taylor? I called you last week. I know who you are. I'll buzz you in. Some friends. Hey, uh, you sure you're okay? Thanks for helping me out. Thanks for the apple. Good luck at the hospital. Good luck with your baby. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for Dr. Rhodes. He said I could find him here. I think he's in the genetics lab down the hallway, last door on your right. Thank you. Is your wife a patient of his? No. Dr. Bell? I am. <laughs> 